we slowly start. I would love to say we just enjoyed a lovely lunch break together <laughs> in Japan, or at this time it would have been already dinner. Um, unfortunately, uh, this is not possible right now. But um, nevertheless, um, Naoto and I are very, very much looking forward to this meeting. And I would like to welcome all of you, dear Global Bioimaging Partners, dear meeting participants. Welcome to this very exciting exchange of experience workshop on pre-publication image data. On behalf of the Global Bioimaging Management Board and this year's organizers from ABIS, the Japanese Imaging Infrastructure, I would like to welcome everybody to this two days exchange of experience workshop. It's actually our fifth edition of the annual workshop, which started in 2016 at the EMBL in Heidelberg in Germany. For those of you whom I have not met before, my name is Antje, Antje Kepler, and I'm the current interim director of the Biomaging Biohub at EMBL. And together with Federica, I've been coordinating Global Biomaging since its start as an EC funded project in 2016. After the start in 2016, um, we continued having annual exchange of experience workshops, first in India and Bangalore, as several of you will remember, in Australia, and then last year in Singapore. Many of you have attended one or more of these meetings, and you will remember the great spirit and the in-depth discussion that we always had with our colleagues coming from all around the globe to these events. And we would really like to invite you to continue the networking as much as possible in the Zoom meeting, for example, by using the chat functionality. So this time we, are all, we were supposed to all come to Okazaki in Japan for this meeting, and we were all looking very much forward to this occasion, but for unfortunate and too well-known reasons, together with the local organizers in springtime, we had to decide to make this event a virtual one. And we are very grateful to all of you for your support and understanding. This is also reflected in the record number of almost 190 registered participants, which for us is the highest registration number we have ever had in global bioimaging. Participants are representing not only the 10 global bioimaging partner countries and continents, as, but they are also representing and coming from Brazil, from Chile, China, Colombia, Indonesia, Korea and Uruguay this year. And with this, I would like to hand over to our, uh, to this year's organizer, Professor Naoto Ueno. But before I do this, I would like to thank Naoto, your team, the two session chairs, Shuiji Onami and Jason, Jason Svetlo, many of you will know him, as well as our new colleague, Gleb Grebnev, and in particular, Federica, Federica Peiner. Without her, we would not be here today. And I would like to thank you for all your hard work and enthusiasm the past weeks and months to make this meeting a reality in the virtual space. I'm looking forward to our fruitful discussion, exciting talks and a highly interesting and relevant program. I would also um, like to take this opportunity to thank the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, which is supporting global bioimaging since the beginning of this year. And Federica will give you a little bit more background on this a little bit later today. And with this, let me hand over to Naoto. Thank you very much for joining us today. And Naoto, Naoto I think you're on mute. <laughs> I'm Naoto Ueno from National Institute for Basic Biology Japan as a local host representing the Japanese bioimaging support, ABIS. I would like to thank all the participants and the excellent speakers who contribute to the sessions. As Ante already said, this EOE5 meeting was initially planned to be held physically, uh, held in the town of Okazaki, Japan, where the uh, headquarter of our network ABC is located on the same day with the uh, with this uh, online meeting. It was unfortunate uh, that COVID-19 pandemic did not allow us to do so. It is indeed unfortunate that the pandemic affected human social activities and hampered our important global communications which is the key for global bioimaging. 
However, let's take this in a positive way. This disaster provided us an opportunity to think how we scientists can maintain our activities even in these dif difficult situations by adapting to the new normal. The Japanese community ABIS is also seriously thinking how we can support bioimaging and image analysis of scientists even when they are not able to move across universities and institutions in Japan, not to stop their sciences. The special topic of EOE5 is uh, pre-publication image data. Needless to say, image analysis plays essential roles in life science, in addition to data acquisition with microscopes. If if I put masses of image data as a gold mine, data analysis would be a treasure hunting. Through bioimaging and analysis, it is wonderful if we can discover hidden meaning of life and life systems. Therefore, I am very happy to host this EOE5 meeting in which we exchange information and discuss future development of this challenging task in a timely manner. I believe that bioimage analysis is one of the subjects which we can promote further even in this difficult pandemic situation. I'm particularly glad that people from many countries, which uh, counts nearly uh, 30, and uh, uh, almost 200 people joined this meeting, despite of different time, time zones. Uh, in addition to participants and speakers, I would like to thank people who made this online meeting uh, possible. Let me share uh, some slides. Okay, I'd like to thank uh, Shuichi Onami and Jason Swedero for scientific organization and Federica for general organization and Greb uh, Grenner uh, technical for technical organization and Marianne uh, Childress Poli and Joanna Bishop for communication assistance. And uh, uh, to uh, proceed this meeting efficiently, I ask you a few things which was already uh, mentioned uh, in the attached PDF files from uh, Federica. Uh, please uh, switch camera and microphone off unless invited by the chair to ask question. And please raise your virtual hand or type in chat if you have a question. And uh, uh, during a uh, coffee break or so, uh, please check uh, the uh, etiquette uh, in describe more in de detail. And uh, please remind that all sessions are being recorded for no just for note taking purpose. And uh, uh, we have a hashtag for this uh, meeting. So please use at global by image for tweeting. And lastly, uh, as this is the first uh, online EOE meeting, we may encounter uh, unexpected problems. And we apologize in advance if we have such a technical problems and ask you for your patience and cooperation. Thank you very much and please enjoy uh, this two days meeting.